here in Suffolk um, at the Viking Trail in Tunstall Forest um, and we're just going to see if we can go around this on our gravel bikes. We've done it before on a mountain bike and know that it's okay so we thought we'd try on our new gravel bikes. So the question is, is this really a red difficult trail? We know from prior experience many years ago on mountain bikes, trails in Suffolk don't tend to be that technical. Let's go and find out. It's a pretty good trail. There's a few minor drop-offs. It's mostly bumpy to be honest from the roots. So far nothing that's really needed suspension. So it might make it a little more fun. To hone your technique slightly a bit better on a gravel bike. But otherwise, fun and games. Lots of these little rollers make a bit of fun. Have you found it so far? Yeah, it's been really good. It's nice to get back on the single track and so far so good with the bikes. Uh, tires are gripping nicely and I'm glad we've got the low gears to get out some of the little um, kickers, but no, it's great. I'm loving it. And would this be suitable to anyone? Yeah, I think so. As long as you've got decent tires. Yeah, decent tires and tires. low gears, you'll be fine. Yeah. What makes this a, a red trail is a couple of the optional bum holes. Uh, these are where you can just dive off and then loop back onto the trail so you don't have to do them. Uh, as you can see they're a bit of a, a hazard hospital signs how to get emergency help just in case. Well let's take a look. Ooh, bit of a drop off there. I don't know whether it'll come out on the camera and then more gentler route out the back there but uh, slightly gnarly good fun on a mountain bike maybe with a bit of suspension i think we'll give it a miss on the gravel bike
throughout the trail there are these uh, numbered post markers so you can see on the map exactly where you are and then halfway around is a cut off so you can shorten the route if you want to if you're feeling a bit tired and those are the green arrows but this is v13 haven't got far to go now before the end of the trail question can we do the Viking Trail on our gravel bikes yes we can <laughs> and it was really good really good fun bikes handled really nicely um, in a single track around the little berms even through the sort of muddy puddles it was great really really good fun um, nice to be back on the trails after so many years but uh, but yeah love the new bike love the new setup really really enjoyed it and how were the trails in terms of uh, mud? They were pretty good actually. We've had quite a bit of rain over the last couple of days and there were puddles, but everything rode nicely. It flowed well and uh, yeah, got through most things. So it was good. Yeah. No, I think it's Trog MTB, a big shout out to those guys for yeah. maintaining the trails. Yeah, big shout out. They've done a good job. And uh, it's free parking here. You can come along and enjoy the trails and uh, I think you can donate to Trog MTB or join um, just to support them because they're not funded by the Forestry Commission or anything but they've done a good job. <laughs>